Hello everyone, welcome back to the special. In the last episode, uh, we took care of the ruin and we caught ourselves a nice Ivy Sword and Charizard, which is impossible in the games, but hey, it's um, brawl logic, so uh, yeah, we'll roll with it. And um, we're gonna take on the wilds in this episode, so uh, yeah. Oh look, uh, something looks very suspicious about that thing. I'm pretty sure it's not, uh, you know, a boss. I mean, in a in another part, or we're gonna take care of it, you know, like two times in a row. I mean, no. Uh, but then again, we have these three awesome, actually no, two awesome people. He doesn't count, by the way. So let's get started with this level. So we're gonna get to easy man I think it's man I is pretty much the god of brawl so no matter who we have we're pretty much guaranteed a victory as long as we know how to do it. Yeah. So in the wilds, um this is a very um this is actually a pretty um intense level, um no pun intended. I'm actually serious, this is a pretty tricky level because it's pretty long. One of the longer um levels in the game. The longest one is is not till the very end though, so and no I'm not counting the final level I'm talking about the second to final level like that one's really dumb and, oh shoot yeah this part's pretty tricky because there's some um, those stupid gulp things that I don't know what you no 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 oh thank you man I you actually went through me then again you always go through me so yay man I you know um, I really feel control man I, I mean honestly I prefer Kirby and DD Warrior man I mean I do have a man item plushie which is a Cool beings, I suppose. Um, anyway, up here is a secret door. I think uh, here's a box. Yeah, there's a box up here. I mean, honestly, if you for this game, you don't have to get 100% in terms of getting all the items, item boxes, but they do help in um, um, completing like if you really want to be a completionist in this game, which is, trust me, you do not want to do that. You're gonna be spending hours, one hours playing one certain level or. Um, a special, I mean, a custom stage if you, if you, if you have time to make it. Oh my god, that's a, it's a trap! Okay, thank you. You know what, you guys are just gonna annoy me. Oh, no, I don't want you. Oh yeah, I like to think, if you want to be a completionist in this game, don't. It's honestly not worth your time. Because you, you pretty much have to get all stickers and trophies. I mean, trophies, it's okay, because that's like, a staple to ever since Melee, but if all the, since they introduced stickers, oh god, that's like, even harder than trophy. You, you literally can get repeats like out the wazoo. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. That was a pretty unfair hit, I tell you. And uh, if you're asking why I use Martha, honestly, since Martha is faster, I think he is a the better choice out of the fire ball. I prefer Ike. Because Ike's just a cooler person in general. And this Marsha is so broken, man. He did stupid guard attack and whatnot. Damn. Yeah. Oh, and here we have a new uh, mini, bo mini boss. This is an arm man. This dude is pretty darn jerkish, I tell you. Especially in um, and if you're playing it for the first time, we have no idea what you're doing. Because what you're supposed to do is, and when you get to that mode, you can't attack him, but when he has his arm out, you're supposed to attack his arm, and then after that, he really reaches out with uh, a slime? I don't know how that works, but yeah. So once you do that, you can pretty much wail on him until he dies. So he's a pretty simple boss, but he can be pretty hard with facing other mini bosses. So yeah, you gotta watch out for him because he's a mean green machine, like another cool green person as we know. No, I'm not talking about Link. I'm talking about you know, you know who that little might do. No, I'm just kidding. Not talking about these two. Okay, I don't understand how these guys hit you so far. I mean, they're so little, but then against Mars, Mars is pretty pussy, so... Eh, I guess that makes sense. Yes, I know, I'm going to anger all the Mars fanboys because, Oh no, Mars is like the best character in the game! Why are you being induced to him? I'm not gonna go over why I hate him again. I'm, I already said that already in his own, in his own little, um, level. So, yeah. Then I do kind of have to give Marshall credit because he was the one that made Fire Emblem popular in the US because Fire Emblem was actually only, only Japan only. I mean, heck, the first game for Fire Emblem was all Japanese and Jews Marshall in it, which is pretty, uh, it's a pretty lame game actually if you watch the original. So, yeah. I recommend the Ray and Dawn series though. That is a pretty good, that is a pretty good series. 
I mean, game. It's just more involving. I don't know, that's just me. Now, when we have these annoying dudes. Wow, I actually survived them. Um, if you really want to be cheap, you could do Mars Guard on them, but, um, that's your choice, I suppose. Ooh, thank you for. Alright. Come at me, bro! Aha! Oh, hey, we have Barrel Blast section. Yay! Donkey Kong! Country! Reminiscence, um. Let's go get the box. Oh god, that was close. Oh my god! Yes! Thank you, game! Oh god, he actually gave me a good item. Uh, I believe you want to go. No, 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 no. In this section, there's actually a secret door, so you have to kind of be careful where you're firing your gun at. Oh god. Uh, I don't really remember this section much because I actually just fly through it without much attention. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you want to enter this door because this door has uh, goodies in it. Yeah, like I told you. Some green boxes, some orange boxes, and some Gordo buffs, but yeah, that's about the fanciest you can get in this game. Seriously. Uh, as for the uh, multiplayer this game, um, I actually had a request from a person that wants to play with me for this. Um, honestly, multiplayer in a uh, emissary, it's actually a pretty um, interesting concept, but in the end, it really it pretty much drains your life because the, the other person uses it pretty good in the game. Especially when you're playing on intense mode, it can spill disaster because because you pretty much share life like in a Kirby game, but unlike in Kirby, this one is not as generous as lives, and um, yeah, it's pretty annoying, and especially the fact that um, if you're P1, you actually are the, well, Kirby in that game, because you can't really die, otherwise you pretty much fail, but not. Oh, and uh, we already finished the level, and uh, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought. I thought this level was a lot longer, and it's probably because of this, you know, this dude that I heavily predicted with my own eyes as the boss. Um, this dude is actually pretty hard, actually. No, uh, hard in the sense that he has a lot of attacks to do a lot of damage, but, um, he, just, uh, he has actually the lot less HP than most other bosses, which is an interesting maneuverer, I say, Star Fox. And then, and, and then, and then, he has that Luigi Tornado move, which does a lot of damage to you. Then again, oh, he also has a stomp move, which is really easy to avoid, but it can bury you if, you, if you're standing on the ground, so you kind of have to be careful. And he also has this... He also shoots missiles at you, which uh, you can just dodge by just flying over everything, and he has the uppercut move. Uh, yeah, this dude is pretty intense. Eh, eh, eh. I already made that joke, I'm not gonna do that. So, unfortunately, Mana isn't the greatest damage dealer, so we're gonna be here for a while. If I, and if I don't fail, oh my god. Hooray for moving, um, smash, do DL, like whatever you call it, I don't know. Uh, I swear, people make this game look more competitive than it really is. And same thing with Melee too, then again, I think Melee just a more design! Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, we have- Oh, we're using Mark, who makes this boss pretty pathetic because of one move. Or I just screw up entirely. That works too! I mean, seriously, you could just- Go- Do the counter move all day long and you can do like massive damage to him. Like that, for instance. I mean, seriously, it's just... It's pretty sad, also. I mean, you can do Ike, too, but Ike is more strict on the timing. Because, well, Ike's counter is a slightly different, so Mars is more, um... What you call it, um... More reliable in that aspect. Oh. Hey, come on me, bro. Come on me, bro. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on me, bro. Come on me! Aha! Wow, that was, um... Delayed death, I say. Even though I hate Marth, that's only one of our life because it is the most broken thing to do. Hooray for meta games! Well then, that didn't really work out, did it? Um, because I know what level we're gonna do next. Um, it's actually a very short level, so I'm just gonna just stick it at the back of this episode just to make it look more juicy and whatnot. So yeah. So um, in the next level we have is the Ruin Hall, and would you play it? Would you believe if I tell you we have another boss fight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just as unique too, right? 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 Unfortunately, no. At least it's continuity, but still. It's the same boss fight. Except you use different people. I'm not even kidding. 
Seriously? Seriously? So, Jerry, so you could at least make this guy you new know, in a different form or something? I'm but no! It's the same boss fight! Oh, at least you get to show Charizard and how broken he is in boss fights. If I use him right. Okay, so if we're. If we use Charizard right now! Well, shucks, I can't use Charizard. Oh, um, when I use Charizard again, I'll show you what you can do to make this boss fight really easy. Uh, but unfortunately, I died him, so I can't really show it. But, um, basically, what the trick is, um, if you do the Rock Smash, his um, side B move, you can actually land a bunch of hits on him, like, really easily. Because, um, Rock Smash is actually a multi hit move, but you can't really see it in the actual brawl because, um, the initial hit is so strong it sends everyone flying. So the only way you can really see it is uh, if you if you amplify the hits. Wow, I'm stuck. Okay, fine. You know what? You know what? Fine. What Squirtle? I don't want to use Squirtle. No. Go Ivysaur. Get back. Go Charizard. And who gets smushed with smithereens? All right. So let me show you the trick. We massive damage. No. Okay, why is this uppercut so slow in this game? I don't know. Well, if I fail again, that's pretty sad. Oh, we have a metal box, and we're gonna kill him anyway. Ness, so. I mean, not Ness, Lucas. Oh, well. Yay! Oh, he has a different decimation, at least. I guess that kind of counts. I don't know. Now we have a pretty interesting cutscene actually. As you can see, that dude has a built-in subspace bomb, so he's carrying us committing suicide. I don't know why, but uh, I guess it works. Oh, I guess that's kind of cool, but even though you kind of know that Pokemon Chain is kind of useless without HMO2 and a Pokemon, so yeah, that's not going to work. But hooray, man, I somehow saved them, even though that makes sense, and oh, bye, Wario. Oh, they probably like the handshake a lot. I don't know, I just, I don't know, they just like doing that a lot. So yeah, we, uh, so we pretty much strengthened the bond between, uh, Lucas and, uh, Pokemon Trainer, which is a pretty interesting concept, I guess. Dang, and this place is full of interesting concepts. So, uh, yeah, um, that should do it for uh, this episode. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part of the special. Bye!